off in somewhere up there here. Supposed to be a railroad track. I don't see no daggone railroad track. Or well, I know railroad trussles. I ain't seeing a sign of them. That's an old lane there. There's a chisel plow. I don't know what that's got to do with the railroad track. There's a railroad track here. Look at that. Would you? Boy, that son of a buck's too far. God, Dory! She got a dent in the top, but I mean, that ain't... Man! That is cool. She's too far gone, though. That son of a buck. I can find something like that that ain't too far gone. I guess it runs with them trees. I don't know. I don't know why I ain't figured it out yet. Maybe I'm maybe I'm driving on it. I don't know. Gumbo. Let's share me something me oh. I think that's it right there. I think it runs through here. And Miguel, son of a gun, we're gonna have to make fun on my oh. Oh, I see it now. It's raising right there. Let's climb it. We'll be like old Hartwick and Moon that time when they shut the train down. They was cutting timber on a railroad track one time. And uh, I seen this great big diesel train come through and stop. I was running the yard. The yard was by the tracks. That big old diesel train come through and stop. And I thought, what in the... Yeah, it is. My Jordy. We're on the trussle now. I got you just a steep off the other side. You go on this side. I want to get the wiggle around here and I'll run it down her. Anyways, Ronnie Hallway and John Moon's cutting trees on the track, and uh, a big old diesel train comes there loaded up with caterpillar nosers and stuff and stopped. I don't know, Ray. I said, What's going on back here? And they said, Oh, John Moon and Hallway had to pull one off the tracks, and the train's going to stop and wait on it. <laughs> there you go, baby. He's the only loaders around ever stopped him. Moving freight train so we can cut a tree. <laughs> oh. My phone. <laughs> Always. All right, this old boy just come all the way across Mohaw just to see us and try to call me out of them old tracks. <laughs> you don't say anything. You gonna be bashful? No. I mean, what he's been talking for an hour and a half, and now he's all of a sudden you turn this on. He don't say nothing. Well, what do you want me to say? Hi. Hi. Say hi to. <laughs> hi to you too. <laughs> Wait, now you said you started watching this thing a long time ago, like... A long time ago, back before I could damn near could drive. Yeah, back when it was in black and white. When I started out, it was in black and white. He started watching before it turned in color. <laughs> All right, what Stevie's doing is he's making a uh, place there for the daggone uh, uh, tailpiece of the boom to set in cause, so we can level it out flat. Uh, boom's real productive if you level it out flat, but if it ain't leveled out flat, yeah, no dice. We got her, uh, she's just a busy bee down there at that road. We got her leveled out to where her, got her flags out to where we're all safety first as far as traffic and crybabies are concerned. Stevie should be about done already. Stevie, I think old Let's Dig's got a lesson or two to learn from that. Look at that. Stevie's uh, cleaning out for a uh, level up for a house foundation. Alright. Benito, Stevie, that'll work. Okay, let's go over here and check on Reuben and Junkie. And we got these trees cut here so we're got to see out each side pull out the semi. So that's done safely. There's a sign down there, log truck sign there. Log truck sign, it's already blowed off son of a fucking piece of shit there, uh, according to French. And uh, one sign up chair, because this is going to be important when this is kind of a blind hunt. But they got to slow down a bit for it, but get a big truck come through in a hurry. He, he won't get slowed down enough. He'll be smoking brakes coming off that hill. Trying to get slowed down enough to where uh, don't smash and crash, that sort of deal. I still think that'd be too hard on brakes, so hopefully that's good enough for them. I'm gonna get down there and see what uh, Junkyard and old Reuben's up to. They're getting their stuff ready. We got all this cut out here. It wasn't just a small amount of wood. Oh, yeah. I'd probably take it over to Big Grapple. 
Like someone else is thirsty too around here. Look, there's a little coon paw print. They getting up here and getting them a drink too, Roger. Wonder what kind of drinks coons drink. Now we're getting ready to pull out. Robin's got to back up. He can barely make his turn up here. It's gonna be tight. So I cleaned out a little section where he can run through beside the chunks. He said he's gonna need every bit of it. Well, he just might not step it, but uh, shouldn't we get rid of all this mess out of the field with the skitter before we take the last skitter out of here? We can't get it good enough to make him happy. We'll have to bring the bulldozer back anyways. Oh, okay. Copy. Yeah, he'll want to scrape it clean and get the grass cleaned off and everything, and you can't do that the damn skitter blade anyways. That's good thinking, though. I about tried to tear into it, but I've done that before, and it ain't going to be good enough. Yeah, he's got enough lashing them pins on that dozer blade where it'll float along the top, you know. I get requests all the time to show how things work. I might show how this thing works here real quick. I'll get Robin coming out here. It's a this power break, we need a three foot, four foot hole. Oh yeah? Who's that? What the hell y'all union breaking for over there? Get to work! Oh, sorry. I didn't know you was around here. What the hell are you doing here? Stevie, hey, the union pays me to keep you working. Stevie, it takes two people to keep you working. Let me cook all of it, Yeah. Alright, these John Deere transports. What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> we come to lay her down, bud. <laughs> so, anyways, these John Deere transmissions, they have clutches in them. They uh, run off hydraulic pressure, gets tied against some clutch packs, and it's, it's at different ratios. And that's how, so John Deere's never, John Deere transmissions never come on the call. They stay all caulked up in all the gears and different clutch packs turn and different gears. Uh, some gears actually lock up on the brake. It, it just, they use the clutch. Reps on the way. So anyways, they use the uh, different, different ratios of, of, of uh, well, I don't know what you call it, I guess cross shafts or whatever to get the ratios. I know that's too detailed. So basically what I'm trying to say is on a John Deere transmission it never comes up call. It's got eight forward gears and uh, seven reverse I believe and it's a power shift. The computer has got a computer in there that actually shifts your transmission. You know it turns on valves and shuts other valves to get it to go in different ratios. But the fact that they never come uncogged, the gears always stay cogged up, they just different clutches kick in and let go and stuff like that to make different ratios off the different gears through there. Then uh, all you're doing is changing, all this is, is it's electrically running to hot the, the computer to tell it to turn on and off certain valves to get it to go in a different ratio for you. But it works just like a manual transmission other than the fact that you can shift it on the go without changing your throttle. Now when you go to stop, you got brakes here, and here's your clutch, but the clutch ain't a clutch, it's just an engine pedal. All that does is breaks the uh, transmission pressure, so it'll let the transmission slip until you let out on it, so it works just like a clutch, but it's, and it does go to clutch packs, but it ain't really a clutch, it, it's, 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 you know. Anyways, it's like a dump valve or whatever in there, it, it, you know, but that's how that works. And you got your steering wheel and you got your little speed knob on there. The gravel functions back here around this joystick. You can see this. You got all that movement back there. See, and that goes back and that goes up. And then the bench are open and closed. I'm going to hit a tree. Bench are open and closed. Goes on these buttons. See there? Back and forth. And they've got continuous rotation.
rotation. It's got a daggone uh, rotate manifold so you can spin that graph all the way around. The old skinners you used to not be able to do that. But these new ones you can spin them all the way around. And then it's got a button underneath there, it's like a trigger button. You hold that in and you hit the pinch and then it's got constant squeeze. Where when you're moving your load, the grapple's constantly holding tight. So if your log shift around, it'll kind of tighten up on them. Just like a, like a dang-up Chinese finger trap. The more you stick it in there and wobble it around, the tighter it gets. Tiger Cat. What do I, uh, Tiger uh, Cat LLC. <laughs> CPS. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger Cat. Ah, ah, Tiger Cat. The tires that's going around is on 32 inch diameter wheels. They're 44 inches wide and they're 72 inches tall. They're 73, I think 73. They're right at six foot tall, the tires are. And 44 inches wide. And uh, on the 32 inch wheel, I think they got a 20,000 pound load rating on the tires. If I got that right. Maybe it's a four, and no, it's 20,000. The bigger the wheels on these skidders, they, as the low range goes up, they make the rims bigger. The bigger diameter rims is where they hang their bigger load rating off of on these skidder cars. So this skidder's got actually tires that go on an 848 or maybe even a 948. So uh, they're, they're big, they're, they're, they're the heavy tires. But it slows this skidder down because this skidder's basically a little skidder with a big skidder weight, basically. <laughs> This is a real messed up size, the 648 dual arch is, and a John Deere skitter. The 648 G3 dual arch is a real weird size skitter. It's underpowered, and the weight's all distributed wrong and stuff like that, so it's not a real good... These chassis are real good as a single arch, they're just not as a double. Hey everybody, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to hit the buttons and leave me likes and comments and stuff, let me know what's up. Uh, uh, and to anybody that's wanting logger weight gear, go to loggerweight.com and uh, help yourself as a shop there. And uh, we got all that good mess to take care of it. And uh, mostly just want to say thanks, everybody. Hope everybody has a good one later on.